What's up gamers? In this video I'm going to be going over some basic Bayonetta stuff, nothing super in-depth, but just some basic character stuff. Um, her jab, no longer super inescapable. I can fall out of it, um, you can STI up and jump. Um, still has a lot of lag after the rapid jab, so I can just hold shield. Takes a lot of time to, for that to cool down. Uh, forward tilt, still three hits, has a lot of lag, can't really combo much off of it. It's pretty quick though, so you can use it sort of as a get off me tool. Um, people try to shield it, you can sometimes catch them because they'll drop shield after the first hit. Down tilt um, is really good for combos, you can do down tilt, and that's not really a combo, I just wanted to see if that was a thing. To like forward air, down tilt, um, up air, a bunch of other stuff like that. Um, down tilt, up air is really only at later percents, but it does have an interesting kill confirm. Um, with the tack cancelling, um, with the tack cancels, you can only do attack cancel short hop aerials. Um, so by the time, in like, you know, coupled with the fact that, you know, short hop aerials do less damage than full hop aerials, I think that did 13 point, this, uh, I just short hopped again, that did 15.6, so, coupled with that fact means that by the time you'll start killing with, you know, back air, um, with just down tilt back air, out of an attack cancel back air, um, the down tilt will launch them too high for the back air to connect. What you can do, however, is what I just did there, which is the attack cancel reverse up air to back air, um, which does not really rely on DI and will kill, I tested this a minute at least, at 60% from the ledge without DI. So you gotta keep that in mind because that is pretty neato. Um, dash attack, um, it's good, decent for killing, high percents, good for closing distances really fast. Um, of course, everything has bullet arts, all of her moves, every single one of them. If you just hold down the A button, especially with up air, you know, you can see it just spins around instead of just up air, and you shoot, you shoot people, so that's pretty nice. Um, her up tilt is pretty good. It's the way you really want to try to start ladder combos, because um, I find it to be pretty consistent. Grab. Um, grab. Don't get much out of grab because her throw lag is pretty um, severe. Um, her only kill throws are really... Um, Forward throw and sometimes down throw at really high percents if they DI don't if they don't DI properly. Um, although it is a good DI mix up, so you know, keep it at face value. The uh, smash attacks uh, are no longer considered items, so that's good for Bayonetta because it means that not everything will clank with them anymore. They do have sweet spot and sour spot with a sweet spot at the very tip of the fist and a sour spot at the very base, or actually all along it until the very tip. Um, up smash is the same way, does have a sweet spot at the tip. Um, it's pretty good for killing um, from like around mid stage if you know up sma uh, forward smash won't kill. Both of these have a lot of lag though, so keep that in mind as you will be open to punish um, if you whiff. I wouldn't overly use smash attacks with any character. Except for maybe Olimar's up smash because that's dumb. In any case, um, down smash um, won't really kill. Um, it does the most damage out of any of Bayonetta smash attacks, which still isn't a lot of damage, but. Oh well. Um, its only real use is for uh, spiking people off stage with bad recoveries, like Cloud, for example. Um, Cloud's up B is really susceptible to getting spiked um, by Bayonetta's. Down smash like that because he don't he doesn't sweet spot the ledge unless he's like right there, or using limit break. Um, it's also really good at punishing Ike and Crom's upbees because they go past the ledge anyways. 
it will catch people hanging from the ledge and it can two frame but the uh, big boot there won't only your uh, like the heel stomp that Bayonetta does will um, so you gotta keep that in mind as since this is a two hit thing only, only, he, only heel will uh, hit at ledge if you don't if you're not standing right at the edge of the ledge it won't be able to two frame or do anything like that for aerials and stuff you got up air which no longer kills unfortunately you can kill if you're really close to the sides with like the forward hit or the backwards hit um, but I wouldn't count on it um, it does have utility in combos um, you can uh, lower percents mostly up up air to uh, forward air up air to back air all that stuff for some nice and juicy combos up tilt to connect properly because you know hitboxes. You can I uh, you can do it to forwarder I swear um, all my life that you can. But in any case, um, forward air is three hits. Um, the first hit no longer has a well, has like no lag. So if you do forward air one, um, you can't just do the thing you do down tilt forward air up B because it takes too long for the up B to come out especially since they changed the frame data on up B and you can't do another move outside of forward air after doing fair one um, for a little bit um, if you try to do like fair up air you just do fair two and three and stuff like that um, it is her optimal kill off the top move though um, which is kind of unfortunate because it has more upwards knockback than up air does so when you're gonna kill off the top you want to end on forward air you also um, like in smash 4 I usually like to end on um, the side B instead of the up up B for like finishing ladder combos because led to a more consistent up air, but the up B leads to a more consistent forward air, so that kills a lot earlier. In any case, um, down air, still a good kill option. The spike is not as powerful anymore, so it won't, you know, kill people solidly at like 10%. They'll be able to easily live. Um, it will, however, sometimes not drag them into the landing hit of down air if you catch them with the spike and then hit the ledge sometimes they'll just fall straight down instead of being hit by the landing hit which is nice um, which means you can actually spike people who are close to the ledge with down air although it's somewhat inconsistent because sometimes the grounded hit will come out and sometimes it won't it's still really strong you can you know just do that for a quick punish and and it doesn't have a lot of her kill options anymore, so it's good. Uh, Nair is a good combo move. It will not kill anymore, unfortunately, unless you're really close to the side. Um, sort of like up air, you know, if you hold it near the ledge, it can be a good edge guard. But that's about all it really has, except for combos, because you can do um, Nair into like side B and stuff at lower percents. should work now. Yeah, so it's pretty good for combos now. Uh, nothing else though, unfortunately. Back air, still strong. Still has a weak hit at the base, uh, like the thigh, um, like sort of like through her calf-ish. I guess like really much thigh to knee is like the weak hit and the very foot is the stronger hit. Um, which will have the most knockback and kill power and everything like that. So that's pretty good there. Um, for specials, you can no longer cancel the uh, guns before they're fully charged. So keep that in mind so you don't get you know punished. You can still tap them and stuff like that for some decent you know damage, although you can't do it indefinitely. You can hold it down. It will kill um, off stage. It's fully charged and stuff like that. And it's pretty good at that doing that because 
a lot of characters like to recover low, and if you hit them high and they're like falling to go low, and you shoot them with that, it'll most likely kill, um, since they're going to be way out there. So you can sometimes try to force high recoveries and stuff, or you get them to waste their air dodge. So it's really useful for um, edge guarding if you don't feel like going off stage for whatever reason. Uh, side B. No longer will cross up shields. Um, if you hit a shield, you will no longer be able to do the second hit of the heel slide. This is for grounded. Um, you can still downwards angle it and everything like that. It's really good for landing like that, though it's one of the best landing options in the game because you can go either way and it's really fast. And if you just do that and you haven't used any other special moves, it's really hard to punish. Um, up B will no longer hit behind you. Um, they either have to be inside of you um, or in front of you in order for the hitbox to come out, which kind of sucks because it means that it's harder to connect this sometimes, especially for combos. Um, if you hold it, you will shoot, but you'll have more lag afterwards. Like if I like buffer air dodge, you know, it has more, a lot more lag. If you tap it, you can act a lot quicker. So when you're comboing, make sure you don't get like overexcited and hold down the button because then you won't really be able to combo as well. You can still triple jump by uh, inputting your second up B. I think it's like three or four frames, something like that, after you jump. You get your double jump back, which is really useful for recovery, um, also for combos and stuff like that, because if you do it fast enough, you can generally link up B and up B, although it won't do that high percent anymore, um, unfortunately, because the first up B will launch them too far. Which twist, which time, sorry, is a lot worse than it was in Smash 4. It's a lot more punishable, stales a lot faster, has a lot less witch time. Um, so use it in moderation, but it's really good for playing against uh, people who are being really aggressive without really considering everything. They just always go for the attack option, like get up attack, they'll try to nair out of your combos or whatnot. Um, it's really good for that. So, um, like, you witch time them, and then it'll shake their confidence and their offense and some other stuff like that. So it's really meant, I think, in this game for conditioning more than anything else. Although you can still get, you know, kills and punishes, of course. Um, Bayonetta's air dodge, pretty bad. Um, doesn't cover a lot of distance. Um, she also has bats within, where if you roll... Um, but you get hit in like the first few frames of your roll before you become invulnerable. You'll do bats within. I think you'll take like half damage, and you have bats that come out. It doesn't have any lag on air dodging, which is really nice. Um, although it can kill you. If you try to air dodge to ledge, for example, and you get hit in bats within, um, you will fall past the ledge and most likely die. Um, so. It's not the best, but it's definitely interesting because, like, if you get hit by Witch Time just after the combo, the uh, counter hitbox ends, you'll still get um, bats within, and you won't get punished super hard for that. It doesn't have a lot of kill throws and everything like that. Um, Bayonetta is definitely a lot worse than she was, has a lot less kill options, she still has some pretty interesting ones, um, like something new that I discovered recently, it's like, it'll work at any percent, literally any percent, this will always combo, um, is if you ledge jump and buffer an up B, um, only the launch, initial launching hit will connect, which means that even if they're at like stupidly high percent for whatever reason, this will connect, even if that low percent, this will connect, um, go up to some stupidly high percent right here because it's a set nick set hitbox, uh, set knockback hitbox. Um, pretty sure it can be DI'd, but for the most part, it's pretty consistent because it will link up to back air, which is nice. So that's uh, most of the 
moves and stuff for bayonet and everything like that. Um, her roll spot dodges is pretty normal. Everyone has the same jump squat. Um, just some combos and stuff that you can do. You know, just like starting off a match and stuff. You got some pretty simple combos. I think the best, the best uh, way to start combo at early percents is with side B because it's relatively easy to get. Um, you know, leads to a lot of damage. You no, know, 54%. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So Bayonet has a lot of has a lot of combo potential. Um, she is a really flow based character though, so you gotta really know how the character flows, what her moves are, everything like that to effectively lace combos because you don't have a lot of cookie cutter combos anymore because DI and everything. There can be a lot of random things like if you try to up air up air but you know, they get launched backwards instead of forwards or whatnot, you gotta be able to react to this stuff, so you can't really just cookie cutter this like you could in Smash 4 as much at least. Um, but other than that, I think Bana is a pretty good character. She's definitely lacking a lot of things, but she makes up for it in some departments like her edge guarding, which is always superb. You can always go really deep for edge guards. But you can still get safely back. You can land pretty well. Get kill confirms. Although not as many of them anymore, unfortunately. I think she suffers from Sheik, Sh Sheik Syndrome in this game a little bit, but that's about it. I think that um, learning how to attack cancel with Bayonetta is pretty important. I'm still trying to learn myself. Um, I only started labbing attack cancel combos last night, actually. But... As you can see, it leads to some pretty useful stuff. Um, what I mean by down tilt launching too high for attack cancel back airs is, you know, you can you can just manually turn around and it'll connect. Although it's a lot harder to do than attack cancel back airs and less consistent, but it's still really good. So Bayonet has kill power. It's not as much. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up now though, cause I gotta go eat food and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know what I can improve on and everything like that. This is my first attempt at making like a real like character video for Smash Ultimate. This is a game I really enjoy. I like teaching people stuff. Um, so any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.